Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Travis Hines, where he goes to two different parks and refuses to pay to enter one, and gets chased off after he tries to challenge somebody to a fight at another. But before we start today's video, as always, a big thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going, so I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. Also, this is where I normally ask people to like, share, and subscribe to the page and become a member, but I just want to say, if you hear anything in the background in today's video, due to the weather, it's storming pretty bad here, so I apologize for any inconvenience. But, I want to bring you guys videos as much as I can. So, with that being said, let's enjoy today's video. Oh no, all vehicles must pay $5 entrance fee? I got horse flies all over me. There's nobody here. One day use is good at all on the day of purchase, pay $5. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna pay, but uh... Yeah, well, good luck with that. Wow, the horse flies are really bad. It's that time of year. I got like 20 horse flies around me. Could it be the person that lives over there that's watching over? Got your tag? What? You got your tag? What tag? Do I get anybody in here? There's a tag? Yeah. It's five dollar. Oh, I ain't I'm not paying that. Well Travis, if you don't want to pay the mere five dollars to stay at this park, then you can leave. If you're that cheap and well, complaining all the time in every video I've covered on on you that you can't find a place to stay you can't find a place to rest here's a place that's giving you the opportunity to do so that sheer five dollars probably goes to help upkeeping the park area itself but instead you want to make it like you're the victim like you have nowhere else to go yes. where's your tag huh on the side of my truck you have a tag? That's a, that doesn't sound like a tag. <laughs> so this guy just called the cops on me. So I'm probably gonna get pulled over. Okay. What a jerk. Whoa. I heard him uh, say A is an odd Adam, Q is an queen or something. He's he already reported my plates. So that means that cops are going to be looking for a description of my car on the side of the road. So anytime now that I see a cop, I'm going to have to uh, be prepared for that. Well, Travis, he's probably doing his job. He looks like he's a park worker cleaning up the park. And well, you won't be willing to pay the, the sheer $5 it costs to stay there. So he's probably well within his rights to do so. And if the cops were to come there, they would probably tell you either pay or leave the property. And if you refused, you would be committing criminal trespass. And if you want to go that route, you can go back to jail and have a roof over your head for the night and your car impounded. Yo, what's up? The f are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing sitting here? It's, it's a park. <laughs> neighborhood Watch Alliance, dude. What are you doing? What do you mean, Neighborhood Watch Alliance? What are you doing? <laughs> you cops have already been called. What are you doing? All right, call the cops. All right. I'll explain it to them. What are you doing? And then if they want me to go to What are you doing? And then if they want me to go to court, I'll what go to court. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
making sure my neighborhood and my children are safe. What are you doing? All right. Well, what? I don't see any children, so what's the problem? Yeah, is that what you're looking for? Your children? Anybody's children. Yeah, I love all children. What are you doing in town? Do you hey, phrasing! Yeah, Travis, with your history, I don't think you should be hanging around parks. I mean, if it was to be brought up that you were evicted for having CP on your computers, it would not end well for you. That's part of the reason why some of the sentencing enhancements that would go against you in Kentucky pretty much were going to be thrown at you if they found that out. This gentleman is well within his rights to protect his neighborhood. You are a stranger who's living out of his vehicle with no permanent residence, who is a convicted offender, and, well, basically, he's doing what any civilized person would do, a part of the neighborhood watch. Love children? You want to step out of the car, I'll beat your fucking ass okay. right now. Let's let's fight. What's up, bro? What, bro? What's up, bro? Take a swing, bro. Right here, bro. Up here on your way, dude. Well, then let's talk to the cops. What are you doing? You're obviously homeless, which is illegal. You're out of state. <laughs> what are you doing? I think you just have a personal problem no. with your with yourself. You got I some don't. kind of. Are you taking medication? No. Well, I think you're on medication of some kind. And I don't drink. I don't nothing, dude. I don't do nothing. You're perfectly sober. Yeah. You don't, you don't see him. At, I am. You're not acting like somebody who's sober. I'm acting like somebody who's protecting the community. What are you doing? You protect the community. Dude, you were on all fours over there a minute ago. Yeah, you stretching out. The first time. Yeah. Was, what? Snorting what? Snorting, yeah, snorting uh, what? Probably. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? I just dude, want a simple question, man. I'm a dad. You're, you're also got... part of the Neighborhood Watch Association, so I want to know what you're doing. What What's the Neighborhood Watch Association? It's a it, neighborhood that watches. When, when do you guys for everybody else when there's weird when, when like do you weird guys town. when do you guys meet? Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday? Once, once a week? Yep. That's that's pretty frequent. It's once and, a week, dude, not really. Yeah, and what's the crime look like around here? Uh vagrancy for one. You 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 have wait you have vagrancy here, you're saying? Right here. Well, Travis, this is what a neighborhood watch does. They appoint people to go on patrols and they set up schedules so they can patrol their neighborhoods to make sure they're safe, to make sure people who would want to sell drugs or inter inappropriately have contact with children or to help prevent people from committing petty crimes like vagrancy, graffiti, or even more serious crimes like burglary. This gentleman is doing something that most people do in their neighborhood. They get together with their neighbors to make sure the place they can live is safe for their children. But this? You're clearly living in your I'm car. trying to mind my own business, but you obviously got a problem you, with you me. You a YouTube channel and everything, man. So? Don't talk to me like I'm dumb. And I'm sure you got your camera on right now, and I don't give a f oh, I'm sure you don't. Because you can't film me without my permission, so that's no, legal too. No, this is a public area. Okay, what you are you doing film? sitting in my f town? This is a town? What? It's a park. It's a public area. I mean, what? what are you doing here? Why can't I, you answer me that? Just why? Why me. did you move here? What's What's I your? Here. I literally was born what? here. I've been All right. Here why don't you Why don't you get out and travel a little bit? I have. You don't seem like somebody who who knows their you area. Know shit, dude. I don't know anything. No. Okay. Well, I don't. Then fine. Not about me. I mean, I don't. Go ahead. Put that camera into it. It's gonna be up here in about ten seconds. What? With, 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 with. Damn! The cops are with you. I don't give a I, about the cops. So you didn't call the cops? I did call the cops. All right. So just you're lucky that it's you're, and, and you're blocking your bl shed here. And you're and there's not a shed. Not where they sit. No. So it's going to be about 20 minutes, is what I'm saying. Oh, because it's a sheriff, right? It's not a city police, right? No, we county police. We don't have Pembine cops. This is what I'm saying. You don't know. Yeah, your city you isn't. Sitting here. Your town isn't big enough for city cops. Right. So. I mean, That's, I'm agreeing with you. And I, I've been to plenty. I've been to enough towns. Dude, I'm not stupid. You know, you got your shit all blacked out, dude. What the f yeah. are you doing? You just don't understand. I what mean, you, under, you, never, you never, you've never seen it. You've never seen somebody like me. All right. Obviously, I've seen plenty of people like you. Well, then, and this is how you treat them all. You, you treat them like this. You don't, you don't need to work. What are you talking yeah, you about? You need to work. And you're probably on food stamps yourself. The way you look. I'm not. I, I, shenanigans. Na 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 na. Shenanigans. Na 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans, folks, because I may not know the gentleman's personal financial situation that is addressing Travis. We know his. He has no right to talk to anybody about 
having a job and not having a job or being on food assistance or getting any form of welfare benefits. Travis, you live out of your car because you made some bad decisions. You don't have a permanent residence. I've said this recently, but if you're going to question somebody and make assumptions of them, we can make those assumptions about you as well, and we know for a fact that they're true. I work. You don't look dude, like look you like got because I work. No, I don't believe. I hang drywall and I don't, paint, dude. I don't. I don't think you make enough money when you're doing this. You got enough dude, time. Look at me. I got paint all over me. What do you think I do? You got. You got enough time to harass me, and and I, how are you getting paid to harass me? I'm how much? How much is a? Myself. How much is a? Business. How much? How much does the crime prevention pay you? Nothing. All right. Why? Why bother doing that? Because I have children. You're, you're not. I mean, people in this community that you, I care about. You clear. Why. You clearly look poor yourself, and yet, and yet you got problems. Oh, Yo, you got. You got. I a got paint on me, and I got a beard. All right. You got. Because I work. Dude. I I grow a beard too. That doesn't mean I have money. Well, so what? Where's your basis? Because I, my kids, my kids wear Nike and being, all kinds. Of, dude, I don't buy myself. I I work, dude. I I don't I don't know what who your kids are or what what you're doing. You your did you did you want to did you want to play at the playground? Am I in somebody's way here? No. Whose way am I in? Suspicious activity. All right. Well, then I'll explain it to the cops. I don't know why you got to get you into explaining? it involved. You didn't explain it to me. What are you doing? I don't need to explain. It's going to be for the cops. We got to explain things to doing? the cops. You got drugs in this car? You know, what? you know the name. Yeah, we could search the car. Do you know the name of the, you know, the name of the officer who's arriving? No. Nope. Why, Travis? Do you want to play try to exchange IDs and go to jail again? Because we all love it when you end up in cuffs. Because this man is doing something that everybody who lives in a neighborhood that takes pride in it does they protect it they start a neighborhood watch or a community outreach group to make sure people like you vagrants who don't contribute to society who could possibly want to do harm to somebody's child doesn't do that <laughs> you're a community who watch that? you're a crime watch guy and you don't even yeah. know your cops names they'll get a hold of me well they'll get a hold of you. you don't do you talk to them during your meetings or anything do you have cops? any yeah, I mean, you, week? No. you're obviously, I mean, if you're going to have some kind of connection right, with the cop. Moron, dude. Yeah, okay. All right, f*** you. Okay. Jeez. And we're going to end the video here, folks. As we can see, Travis does the drive of shame before the cops can come up and talk to him and find out why he's there at the park and more than likely tell him to leave. I commend that man for wanting to protect his neighborhood and his children and the other children of that neighborhood. Because as we all know about Travis's past that he's released on his own YouTube channel, he should not be trusted around small children. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it really helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. And a special thanks to all members of the news team. Without your continuous ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So I will thank you all personally to, of the, from the bottom of my heart.